let the record show that I was ready to go when these guys were, but somebody was standing directly in front of me and I had to wait till he vacated the area. Calvin Castan at the Walmart Lanes. It's 4.05 p.m. here, 4 o'clock scheduled start, so it's going to be a, a brief visit to the Walmart. High school bowling, it's a single visiting the We're going to be out of here at 5 o'clock. No matter what is happening here, even if somebody's rolling a perfect game, we're still out of here. We have uh, to get to the basketball court for for basketball and uh, the Cougar games were originally scheduled to start at, at 3.30 but with the new schedule for the high school where they come in later and leave later the 3.30 start times haven't been practical So they uh, the moved their start time to 4 o'clock, which really gives me problems. Justin LePan hasn't opened. The A boys are here, the girls are here, and the B boys are over that away. We're going to try to mention everybody's name at least once during the course of events. So I think we'll uh, probably pick up with the bees, work our way over with the bees uh, all bowling one time, then move over to the uh, A boys, do them for a while, then do the girls. This bowler here, and this bowler here on 15 and 16. For the Cougars, it's uh, Stephen Mayo. And it looks like the fourth bowler for uh, Sable Valley. So that would be Brian Thomas. Mayo misses Spare. Thomas will pick up his. That'll bring up Charlie Lacey. The B team has just four, so they blow over the ball line spot. So that uh, makes it tough to uh, pick up any. Uh, victories in the B games. So it's like a 2-7 to me. It's like a 2-7 left. Now we have the lead bowler Tyler Atkins up for the Patriots and he gets a strike. So well done Tyler Atkins. And nine pins for the frame for, oops, that was Tyler, no, that was uh, Charlie Lacey. Tyler Atkins started the, the second frame on us over here. So leading off bowler for the Cougars is Kevin Sterling. Atkins incidentally, incidentally up the double for him, so he has two strikes. Sterling, go! Sterling got a late jump drop on that one and it fell for a strike and there's a strike for Brandon Aino. Aino with a strike. Andrew Visconti up now for the Cougars and Ben Coolidge up for the Patriots. Here's Visconti. And Visconti's going to stay on the alley and get the 10 pin. Coolidge will put it right in the middle and grab himself a strike. How about that? Well, once I started uh, recording those uh, Patriots, they started knocking them their pins down. Here's Dylan Porter in the second frame. Porter will take a one, two, four. And uh, Coolidge ended up a nine for the frame. Now we're back to Porter. We watch the fan throw a ball there. Uh, 
And Porter. Hey, Porter. We got them all down. Oop, the fan uh, missed that one just, just as his mother was arriving. His mother jinxed him, I guess. We'll blame her. Stephen Mayo. Oops. Oh, this is, I thought he had a strike over there, but he didn't. Close. And it's going to be nine pins for a quarter. And there is another strike. How about that? That's Brian, uh, Ryan, Ryan Thomas, not Brian, Ryan Thomas. So that's what, four, no, five, four strikes out of five. That's pretty good. That wasn't Ryan Thomas, that was Charlie Lacey. And a picket fence left here by uh, Stephen Mayo. Interesting little drop there for Sterling. We're going to get, we said we're going to get 10 minutes of the B team and then uh, move to the A's and then finish up with the girls. Nice job there by Mayo to pick up that picket fence, a little domino effect. There's Sterling. So we're at six and a half minutes, so another three and a half minutes of the B boys and we're going to move over to the A boys. And this is uh, Tyler Atkins. He's working on a double. Starting the third frame, and he pulls it to the left. It's a pretty good drop, considering everything. Leaves the, it's like the uh, one, five, six, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe the, no, uh, maybe the uh, three, no. I think the three, six, that'd be the three, nine, six. And he leaves the double wood part of it. Left the uh, nine pin. I think that was a nine pin. Looked at from this angle. Here's uh, Visconti. The Visconti gets an open. And a strike for Brandon Aino. Aino. He doubles. He's marked in every frame. So we'll have Ben Coolidge for the Patriots, Dylan Porter up for the Cougars. And there's a strike. Ben Coolidge, if, uh, if Sable Valley wants me to, wants to hire me to follow these guys around with a camera. They seem to bowl pretty good. The camera rolling. And double wood, there's a 3-9. Here's a, a split, a nasty oop. So it's going to be a 4-10 split for Ryan Thomas. Porter going for his spare. Put it in the gutter. And another gutter ball over there for uh, Ryan Thomas. So we'll get us down to the anchor bowlers, and as soon as these guys are done, we'll head for the A team. This is Stephen Mayo. Mayo's going to put a gutter ball down there. And this is Charlie Lacey, who had a strike, I believe, last time, and he. Leaves a three, make that two. Oh, one, two, four is what he left. One, two, four. And Mayo will get about three or four for the frame. We're going to get a drop. He got the spare. He's not quite sure how, but at least he got the spare. And 
looks like Justin LePan just had a strike. We're going to uh, move over and cover the A's right about now.